Hey guys, so what's going on with you guys? Welcome to Get Fit With Me. Today, uh, I'm wiped out, you guys. I just got back from the gym. I just got back from an hour long training session and I'm so tired. So today, I've started to notice that I'm like, not wanting to go to the gym. I'm not wanting to go work out. I'm having a lot more craving to just eat whatever the heck I want and it's getting harder. I'm starting to feel the strain of my commitment and the difficulty that comes with doing it because it's easy to say, I'm gonna get fit, I'm gonna do a good job and do a one day where you're like really awesome, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, maybe a month. Hey, I'm almost at a month and I'm starting to feel like, man, this is really hard. You gotta give a lot of props to the people that just do it and never give up and never quit because that is serious commitment. Oh man, okay, so first of all, I just got done with my workout and I wanted to share it with you guys. So it was an hour long group training session. I wanna show you my zone, which is the app that I use to keep track of my exercises. So here, is the exercise that I did today. I'm kind of new to this whole program, but check it out. Move summary, do you see that? So this is gray area, that's where I first put on my MyZone before I started actually working out. Then the blue was like the warm up area when we were just barely getting started, and then the yellow is when I did like all the intense workouts. Uh, it says that my workout was like an hour and a half, but a big chunk of that was pre-workout when I just, so before I even go to the gym, I put on my mind. I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but I'm gonna show it to you now, if you don't mind seeing a little bit of belly and chest skin here. So the myosome just goes right here and you just put it on and, sorry, that's me and trying to get in shape so it's not quite there yet. But this is the myosome. It just sits right here on your chest. Right there, underneath all of your shirt. And it measures your like calories burned, heart rate, all those kinds of things. And you can actually program it so it knows how tall you are and how much you weigh, and if you're a boy or girl. And then it will determine based on those figures how much you're burning based on your heart rate and all that kind of stuff. A lot of, it just turned off. A lot of technical mumbo jumbo. I don't know a lot about, but all I know is it's good for measuring. So other than that, today um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the struggles I'm having, committing. Um, I can honestly say if I did not have a personal trainer who I was paying for, number one, and number two, who was counting on me to be there, um, I think it would have been really easy for me to just decide not to go. So it's important to have someone that is helping to hold you accountable or that you are holding yourself accountable to, whether that's a spouse, a best friend, family member, um, me. I wanna get more like community in the comment section. So let me know how you guys are doing with your goals so far. Those who committed to join me from day one, a lot of you guys have been showing me so much love and support and I really, really feel that love and I really appreciate it. And I don't wanna let you guys down and I have to say that also helps me because I say I'm holding my self accountable, I'm gonna make a video, and I wanna have good news to report. I don't wanna say I had a bad day, which sometimes that might happen. But um, just knowing that I don't wanna let you guys down is helping me. So get someone to help you hold you accountable to your goals. Not to guilt you or make you feel bad, but just someone that you're like, man, I don't wanna let him down, I wanna do this, um, if, that, if that can help you, so do that. Um, but also today, I had a really good talk with my trainer, and we set some goals. Goals are very important. In my first episode, I told you guys about my goal where I wanted to be able to walk up and down the stairs without feeling winded. I wanted to be able to fit into my old church clothes that are nice and that are skinnier than I can currently fit. Um, so we talked a little bit more about creating measurable goals. Uh, and I wanted to share a couple of those with you guys tonight and I'm hoping that you guys will also share some of your goals with me in the comment section below if you guys are joining me on this journey to get fit. So my number one is um, we determined my optimal weight, which is 180 pounds, 
and I'm currently in the mid 190s, like 195 ish, last I checked. So I don't have a ton of weight to lose, but in all the exercising that I'm doing, I'm going to be putting on more muscle, and muscle weighs more than fat. So as I'm losing fat but gaining muscle, I could potentially actually gain weight. So that means that I actually have a lot more fat to lose than just the 15 pounds, if that makes sense, because I'll be gaining muscle weight. Um, but ultimately, once I'm done, I wanna be 180 pounds, which if I'm in the shape that I want to be at that weight, my body fat percentage is, my goal is 12%, and right now I'm up more close to around 20, 1% somewhere around there so I've got a lot of body fat percentage to lose and they helped measure that at the gym uh, when I was setting the goals tonight with my trainer um, so that's number one uh, lose some pounds um, I want to have a vis visible six-pack was another goal and I want to be like I actually like have muscles because right now like my flex that's pretty pathetic but that's kind of how I've always been so I want to actually be able to like Oh wow, like even when I flex, it's like squishy. I want to be able to have like rock hard muscles. That's my goal. And I'm going to work hard. She says that she believes that I can hit those goals within eight months if I'm losing weight at a healthy pace. She actually said one pound a week is a consistent way to lose weight. Uh, if you lose too much weight too fast, it's not sustainable so she said you want to make sure it's sustainable you're not losing too much weight too fast by starving yourself and then binge eating and then gaining it all back that's not healthy at all so yeah she said if you can lose one pound a week that's slow consistently then you'll be there by it'll only take 15 weeks which isn't even eight months but um, one other goal that I have and this is the one that I'm most excited about is by the end of this year I am going to compete and complete a triathlon. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so, so excited because I love running. I did Ragnar last year with a bunch of YouTube friends. I love swimming. Absolutely love swimming. I actually competed uh, swimming in college and I really enjoy biking. I haven't done a lot of biking lately, but when I was missionary for two years, I was on my bike all the time. So uh, I want to get back into doing that. So running, biking, swimming, triathlon. I want to get in the best shape I've ever been. I want to complete a triathlon and just do all my dreams come true. I'm not there yet. I've never been there. This is brand new to me. Um, I'm really excited and I hope that through my journey of learning and exploring and, and working hard and working past a lot of personal barriers of belief, um, I'm hoping to inspire you guys to do it too and get fit with me. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Go get a good workout and eat healthy and let me know how you guys are doing in the comments. So I'll see you guys down there. Bye.